everyone, welcome to Surprise Toy Box. There was a car boot sale yesterday that was really close to my place. It was about a five minute walk away, so I decided to drop by. Um, there wasn't that much stuff, um, not as many cars as the last uh, car boot sale that I went to back in June. Um, but I did pick up a couple books. So the first thing I got was this Ninjago character encyclopedia. Um, I'm not really a big Ninjago fan, but um, this was only 25 cents, so I thought I would just add it to my collection. So now I think I have three, four, this is my fifth Lego book. Next um, is this, uh, it's a memoir called Educated. Um, it's about a lady who never had like formal education until she was in her late teens. Um, it was recommended by somebody, I don't remember who, and I actually borrowed the ebook, but I never got around to reading it. Um, but the person um, who was selling this uh, said like 50 cents, and I offered her 25 cents, and she took it. So it's in really good condition. Um, there is like some damage in the back here. But for 25 cents, I thought I would add it to my collection. Um, and that was all that I picked up at the car boot sale. Um, but since I was already out, I thought I would check out some yard sales in the area. And there was a small apartment sale that had a few video games. Um, so there's Rayman Legends for Xbox One, Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age, and a sealed Guardians of the Galaxy, The Telltale series. Now when I asked how much uh, she wanted, she said uh, maybe like $4 each or $3 each, and I offered her 5 for all of them. And um, she like hesitated, but then in the end she said sure because she wanted to get rid of everything and she was actually planning on giving everything away for free. Um, so not a bad deal. Um, these games aren't worth that much, but I figure for less than two dollars each, um, it was worth it. Uh, she did have some Xbox 360 games, but they were like filthy. Like the covers were like super, I don't know, there was like dirt on it or something. She did have a Mario Odyssey uh, guidebook but she wouldn't give me a price when I asked her. She kind of like cut herself off, so I don't really need one anyways. So that was all I got there. And the last sale I went to, I picked up a box of Lego. And um, I cleaned it last night, and there actually is not that many pieces. Um, so I kind of overpaid for this. Uh, she wanted $15 for the box. Um, I offered 10, but she wouldn't really go down that low. Um, and she, uh, we settled on, on 12. So there's, like these are just kind of generic pieces. There's a few specialty pieces like this. So let's pan over. Some of those um, tires, I'm not even sure if it's uh, authentic Lego. Um, I did find one of the planets. Um, in one of the other bins, so I threw that in. These are the more interesting stuff. So there's a black dragon with the neon orange wings, and then a few Lego minifigures. I think four of them. I don't think there's any actual characters, maybe one of the pilots. Um, there is Sabalba, but his legs, um, they're like cracked, so they actually don't stay on here. Um, this comes with this planet set. I think it's like one of the pod racer ones. And then there's this piece which I don't know what it is and this piece which is uh, authentic Lego but I also don't know what it is. So I'm probably going to resell this. Hopefully I can make my money back, pay $12. Um, I also got this mini uh, Millennium Falcon play bin. I have a bigger one. So basically if you open it up, I don't have any hands. Here's the inside, and basically you can put your minifigures in here, and you take it along to play. But um, she did say, you know, um, I could add whatever I wanted, so I grabbed this, the planet, and this zip bin. Wow, for the twelve dollars, I probably should have grabbed some other stuff. Like they had a Pikachu, um, I think it's a Game Boy SP case, and like a, a Mario mushroom plush, but. Uh, stuff I don't really need. They did have games and when I asked for more games, they did bring some out But the prices that they were asking for was just way too high like 15 to 20 dollars per game and I don't want to pay that much for something that I'm probably not gonna play I'm just like a hoarder and I want to like expand my collection, but yeah, so I spent what was it 12 17 50 yesterday and all this stuff so I kind of wanted to go out to more yard sales today, but I think I need to spend some time cleaning up. So until next week, 
Let me know what you thought. Um, if I overpaid for this Lego, which I think I did. There's actually not that many pieces here. And um, yeah, remember to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I forgot to show you that this is the bag of like mega blocks and other random crap that was part of the Lego haul. Um, so that's the um, you know risk of buying used Lego because there's always non-Lego pieces in here, and this is actually quite hefty. Um, I usually buy um, my bulk Lego you know by weight. Um, so this actually was pretty heavy because there's like marbles, wheels, there's even a hot wheel car in there which, you know, is, is metal so it's heavy. So it kind of sucks. Anyways, that's it.